saying goes to write a good story, you must find the conflicts where hero meets villain. It's where many of us find ourselves lost in the pages. One Pike County teacher may have just found her foe, but as WYMT's Alex Casper Peak explains, she started winning the battle 50 years ago. I'm going to read to you about a friend. Christine Higgins has dedicated her life to teaching children in Pike County. In half a century, hundreds of students have learned to read in her classroom. A lesson she says makes it all worth it. Hey, listen to me. I can read this sentence. Hey, here's a word I like to know that I know now. And uh, when children can use those words without prompting and prompting, and to see the self motivation that it, it instills in them. Earlier this year, doctors diagnosed Higgins with stage three colon cancer. Every two weeks, I, I spend three days in the hospital, and I, and I go on weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So this way I only have to miss one day every two weeks. Making sure her health does not distract her students from learning. Her attitude and her dedication is a motivation for the rest of my staff because everyone realizes, you know, well, I'm not going to complain about having to do bus duty. Miss Higgins is here on bus duty or, you know, I'm not going to have to complain about this. And, and it really puts things into perspective. Battling cancer. It could be another bear. Or it could be a person and living her passion for teaching a new class of first graders how to read. In Pike County, Alex Casper Peak, WIMT, Mountain News. Higgins has spent her entire teaching career at Bevins Elementary School in the Sydney community.